Coalition for Life focuses a lot on that woman who found that she's pregnant. She's been told by her parents, by her school, by everyone else that she cannot carry this pregnancy to term. And so we are literally the last line of defense on that sidewalk right outside that abortion facility to, uh, to offer her hope, to offer her love. But we do it in such a way that we meet her where she's at. Coalition for Life has found a technique that works, something that is proven and is making a huge impact. In the state of Missouri, it is required to have an ultrasound uh, before you get an abortion. You have to wait 24 hours. They would otherwise have to pay for the ultrasound at the abortion facility. Uh, but instead, we can provide that ultrasound for them for free at so many different pregnancy centers around the state. They are scared. They're scared, they, and usually they're young, and usually they think they don't even have a choice. And they usually don't have the money, and so when they find out we're giving out free services, and it's convenient and easy to get to, uh, they're very happy. We provide for their needs, and then we get them to a place that can provide them a real picture of their baby through the amazing technology of ultrasound. And then when they do see a picture of their baby, 95% of the time, they become so open. You're not humiliating them. You're not screaming at them. You're just stopping and being friendly. And there's absolutely no judgment. Absolutely no judgment at all. 
There's no graphic sign, there's no ugly words. We try to uh, remove those emotions as much as we can and then go out with a very structured approach to how do we talk to people. And so we give people step-by-step -step instructions. The training on the sidewalk itself was very critical. Learning the different steps to use. Just the different little simple steps like knowing to keep talking to them even if their windows aren't down because they can hear you. Actually putting your hand out and waving to them and um, having the ugly orange vest is very powerful. Yeah, it works. And when it works and you do it for the first time, you're hooked. You're hooked. This isn't about the laws in Washington. That's not the place for the debate. It is all about going and saying, hey, we care about you. We're here. We're here in the freezing rain. We're here in the snow. We're here in the heat of the, of the summer. Right now in the state of Missouri, we have only one active abortion facility in the entire state and that's right in the Central West End in St. Louis, Missouri. And we have an opportunity to eliminate abortions right here in the state of Missouri and become the very first abortion-free state. In 2011, with a, just a volunteer organization that through the 40 Days for Life campaign, we saw 15 girls leave, 15 turnarounds. Uh, in 2012, we had 170, uh, a dramatic increase with the structure of a full-time organization of the Coalition for Life to provide that structure. But honestly, our small organization is pinching every single penny we possibly can. Just imagine what we could do with a, with a budget that, that could actually uh, provide all of our resources, be able to grow our organization to a larger level, bring in more churches, more people, train more sidewalk counselors, just imagine the amount of lives that we could save. We could save thousands of lives. And very well, we could make Missouri an abortion-free state. I want to put my money there. I want, to, I want to put my money to keep people on the sidewalk, whatever it takes, the materials, the resources, the supplies, everything. It changes your whole outlook on the pro-life movement. When you get a young girl to stop and change her mind and go across the street or go to the pregnancy center with you, you know you've saved a life. What, what better reward is that, you know? There's nothing better than that. There's nothing better.